shut him out for most of the game. Well, we did, and you know, we had some talent over there, obviously with uh, with Jaquincy and, and, and the other two corner last year. There was nowhere for him to throw, and then our defensive front, which I like all week, was a, a strength of team. And, a, and I tell you, I thought both inside linebacker Jackson and Rudolph really played well, but our, our entire defense was a bunch of ball hog guys that got the football. Got there, I think, very proud of them. Good job to Keith Edwards and, and uh, uh, Paul Benefield. They have a lot of work with them. I want to ask you a lot of times. All star guys come to the game, and I want to try to stand out on one side of the ball. This guy actually stood out on both sides of the ball. How you decided you were going to use him? Well, I didn't want to go home and somebody and not use somebody. What, what were you through thinking if you got an electric guy like this? We want to go. You know, we're going to put him, in, put him in the car and send him back to Pennsylvania without utilizing his filter. But let me tell you something about Kool-Aid. Very unselfish. Very unselfish. From day one, he had all, all the accolades coming in here, but he never said, Coach, I need this, I need that. What a possible team player in Alabama's looking to be getting a great person and a great player. Yeah, the question is, this is your second MVP in what, eight days? I mean, obviously you've accomplished a lot in the high school career. Where does this particular fact you know, rank in everything you've On the, that second interception, then you haven't had an interception return this year where you didn't run it back for a touchdown. So, what, what made you want to go out of bounds there at the end? Oh man, I was just ready to get on there and celebrate, <laughs> celebrate with the guys. And I kind of looked to see if I had a return, but they wasn't even like pursuing me. They were just all moving side to side. I wanted to get this so I just wanted to go to the safety line. Uh, yeah, I was. I mean, but it ain't about me. It ain't about me. Uh, we talked about that since the jump. That was the first thing they were saying to us when we had our first team. So that was all we knew. Well, Coach, uh, with, with those defense as a whole, really felt the start at the line of scrimmage. I know you didn't talk a little bit about the defensive line as a whole, a lot of talent there. How important were they in the result? Well, I, I think, you know, you look at me, I'm an old school guy. And I believe that a great defense and defense always starts up front. The defense line, I'll send their offense, how's the offense line? And if you can control the line of scrimmage on either side of the ball, you got a chance to win and not turn the ball over it. And I think I think we did that. It's why I controlled the run game. I don't think they had if they had 50 yards rushing, I don't remember it. But uh, so we controlled that thing up there the end the, the guys on the back end it just it really helped everything out. Play on both sides of the ball and everything in an all star game. Is there one part of the performance you like better than the other? Uh, no, I mean, I just want to do whatever to help the team win. I mean, I wasn't forcing myself out there on offense. I mean, I came out when it was my time to come out, and I went in when I had time to go in. Thanks, Good. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm.